Hi there, I'm Emily Mulesen with the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council, and this is a public hearing video explaining a framework action which considers modifying recreational red snapper annual catch target buffers. Section 407D of the Magnuson-Stevens Act, which is the federal law that governs fisheries management, requires that red snapper harvest in the Gulf of Mexico be managed under a quota. Also, fishing is prohibited when each quota is met, and it's important to note that a quota is an annual catch limit in the Gulf of Mexico. Red snapper is allocated 51% commercial and 49% recreational. The recreational quota is further subdivided into subcomponents. 57.7% of the recreational quota goes to the private angling sector, and 42.3% goes to the federal for higher subcomponent. Since the initiation of a quota in 1991 through 2017, the recreational sector has only been below its quota a few times. This table shows the recreational sector's landings as well as that red dotted line which represents the quota each year. Prior to 2014, the recreational red snapper season length was based on the ACL or the quota. The U.S. District Court ruled that there were not adequate accountability measures for the recreational sector, and as a result, an annual catch target was put in place, and it was set 20% below the annual catch limit, um, along with a payback provision. So if the annual catch limit is exceeded, then in the following year, the annual catch limit will be reduced by the amount that it was exceeded in that previous year. So sector separation began in 2015. Since then, the for hire sector has been well below the quota each year, but the private sector has exceeded its quota twice in three years. The council is considering reducing the buffer between the annual catch target and the annual catch limit for the federal for hire component. This will allow greater harvest while continuing to constrain landings to the component annual catch limit and also to the total recreational annual catch limit. And it will also allow red snapper harvest to achieve optimum yield. So the first alternative being considered is the no action alternative. That would leave the red snapper annual catch targets for both of the recreational components at 20% below the recreational component annual catch limits. Alternative two would modify the respective component annual catch targets for the private angling and for higher components of the fishery while maintaining the buffer between the overall recreational annual catch target and annual catch limit. So we have some sub options here and the buffer values between the component annual catch target and annual catch limit. Option 2A, the four higher component annual catch target would be set 15% below the component annual catch limit. And the private angling component annual catch target would be set 23.7% below the annual catch limit. Option 2B, the four higher component of the annual catch target would be set 10% below the component annual catch limit. And the private angling component annual catch target would be set 27.3% below. And finally, option 2C, the four higher component annual catch target would be set 5% below, while the private angling component would be set 31% below. Alternative three, which is currently a council preferred alternative, would apply the Gulf Council's annual catch limit, annual catch target control rule using landings from the years 2014 through 2017 to set respective component annual catch target buffers for the private angling and four higher components. This would result in a four higher component annual catch target set 9% below the four higher component annual catch limit and then the private angling component annual catch target would remain at that 20% below the private angling component annual catch limit. And finally, the total recreational sector annual catch target would be 15% below the recreational sector annual catch limit. And finally, alternative four, which is also a council preferred alternative, would establish a sunset provision on this modification and any changes to the recreational component annual catch target buffers would end at the end of the 2019 fishing season. So we'd like to hear your thoughts before we move forward with this document. You can submit your comments online by following this link, or you can simply email us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation and send us your thoughts.